ladies and gentlemen we recently got two new relics in the museum in the form of a relic for ramses and also a relic for none other than of course Artemisia. She seems to be a fan favorite these days, but I never made a video talking about these two new museum relics because really they don't feel like they moved the needle that much but it did remind me that I haven't talked about relics in quite a while and my opinion on relics has changed a bit which relics are must have investments has definitely changed over the you know since this system came out and so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys which of these relics I think are must have relics for free to play players low spenders and high spenders if that sounds interesting to you drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel and if you appreciate rise of kingdoms guide content consider subscribing because we are so close to 80,000 subscribers it is actually insane and we're coming up on 100k i don't know how long it's going to take me to get there from 80 to 100 but like 100,000 subscribers has been a dream of mine not kidding since i was probably I don't know how old was I in like 2008 like 13 or 14 years old so yeah honestly insane but before we jump in of course what's going on guys cheers before we talk about the new relics I do just want to touch on the new designs of these commanders here in the game because again I haven't made a dedicated video about the new commander designs we touched on them when they were first revealed a few months ago but when the first reveals came out it was just four commanders and now we see a redesign for Yi Song Ye, for Cao Cao, and also for Joan of Arc. These are really interesting redesigns, I gotta say. Of course, if you guys didn't know, they also redesigned a few other commanders here, such as Alexander the Great. They also redesigned Ethelfled, Minamoto, and Richard as well. Oh, and Leonidas. That's right, Leonidas. So these are the only ones so far that have been redesigned. I suspect that they will go through and continue to redesign some of the older commanders in the game and probably will leave some of the newer ones because these already have a, a sort of updated design. But I did want to touch on this very quickly because these commanders are commanders with relics, right? For the most part. Actually, I think all of them except for Epic Joan do have a relic. So I think some of these redesigns are fine. I actually think the new Alexander the Great is fine. I like the new Alexander the Great. I absolutely love the new Isong. This is and this is their best redesign, in my opinion. This looks amazing. I mean, if you come in here and you tap on their favor, it shows you the overview. And then you tap on this little button right here. You can switch back and forth between the new and old designs. The old design for Isong Ye is iconic, but he looks like just happy. He looks like just a, a happy, nice Korean guy, which is which is great. But he doesn't like give me warrior vibes, right? This gives me warrior vibes. He is ready to kill people. Look at he looks so sick i love this redesign for isong yay i think the redesign for minamoto is fine it looks better in game than it did in the in the screenshots for whatever reason i tried comparing it it is what it is i think for the most part it, i mean they're very similar right they changed the top of like the the helmet here I mean, he's just kind of in a different pose all in all i think it's fine do I I mean, I guess I prefer the original one slightly because it's cooler, but like, I don't know. I don't, I don't hate it. I think that's completely fine. I don't love the Richard redesign. Honestly, I, I don't think it's very good. I think the Cao Cao redesign is fine. Really all they changed was they made him taller. <laughs> They literally just made him a little bit taller his chest is puffed out a little bit more and they kind of like made his nose a little bit bigger i think and that's pretty much it yeah i think the redesign here is fine but what i'm interested in about is if they will change the app design like the app logo itself on your phone or your desktop or whatever to reflect the new face of Cao Cao. that would be really interesting i think eventually they probably will i will say though this is this is oh lilith come on what is this like what is this i don't know i i just <laughs> You know, I think the original Jones stance is extremely goofy. Like she looks like a Disney Pixar character. And I think like, I never really loved this stance of Joan of Arc, but this has absolutely no life or character at all. Like, I don't know. Like she, like she, her eyes are like half shut. She just looks sleepy and like boring. I'm not sure I'm, I'm down with this one. I'm going to leave it just so that way maybe I can get used to it. Maybe it'll grow on me. And finally, Ethel fled. I mean, I don't know what like she's wearing like way more makeup I don't know what's going on there I think I prefer the original one here I, she looks like she got a tan and put like blush makeup on her face I'm not really sure what's going on there and uh finally I know I just said finally but actually finally we have our boy Leonidas 
I think this looks great I think the original design looked great as well he, he's like less sweaty now I guess and his abs are like slightly less defined but they're they bump out more I mean I don't know his biceps dude his arms are insane I love this this is redesigns fine like the, I have no problems with this it's just a different stance he looks great so all in all I'm curious what you guys think about these redesigns I'm curious who's going to be next for the redesigns and I wonder if these are finalized because if they are I think Joan of Arc and Ethel fled definitely could use a little bit of work as same with Richard um Richard his something about his eyes they're just like black holes I don't know like you see his regular eyes and then it's just like black dots with like I mean they made they made his nose a little smaller but they also made him it looks like he's like slightly shorter am I wrong he looks a little bit he looks littler I don't hate this redesign it's just the face looks a little bit lifeless to me I think that's kind of the case for Joan of Arc as well so anyway just wanted to touch on these some of these redesigns are amazing and I love them and others are are they improvements I don't think they're improvements I think they're slight downgrades I think I have an unpopular opinion here I think a lot of people don't love the Alexander the Great I think it looks awesome but anyway you guys can let me know what you think in the comment section below this video is not supposed to be about the commander redesigns it is supposed to be however about the museum relics so that's what we're going to be talking about now and of course the two new relics that we have to talk about are Ramses and Artemisia of course Artemisia came out first which was weird but she got herself 5% extra attack and 10% skill damage taken reduction this is a very interesting relic first of all normally Artemisia actually has no archer attack right and so I think that's kind of a really good thing here for her because she has defense and health and so she was already very tanky and so that extra attack I mean it's five percent right like it's not really gonna move the needle that much but I mean maybe she'll hit a little tiny bit harder there which is nice the 10 percent skill damage taken reduction however that does move the needle that is very good for a commander that was already very tanky right like she was exceptionally tanky taking 10 percent less skill damage on top of her already very good kit is very nice that being said you still if she's expertise have a chance to give the enemy 15 percent more skill damage so it's kind of like almost counteracting that right I, I don't know all in all I think this is fine is this going to make her more meta more viable probably not right like I mean she just has no March speed she's too slow like you can't use her in the field that that's just like an open and shut case as a garrison maybe later down the line I think right now with Choi Young I think he is very tanky he is a great garrison but would you run Artemisia over somebody like Heraclius I mean probably not right even with that new relic so I don't know maybe people can test it but that's just how I'm feeling and really if you're running archers that means you're probably countering infantry not to say that you can't just run Choi I mean he's a great garrison all on his own right but if you're really trying to counter infantry they're going to be rallying you with smite damage mostly so the skill damage taken reduction here isn't really going to do anything for that specific rally defense anyway so a little bit weird what they went with but regardless solid relic not a must-have and then we take a look at Ramses and Ramses again five percent archer health is a good stat but it's not a lot of it and if you look at Ramsey's kit right he also has a hundred more active skill damage factor which is nice but if we look at Ramsey's kit all on its own it, he doesn't have any defensive stats to begin with except for the chance to get some defense on the fourth skill so he has a ton of attack on the second skill he gets even more attack on the third skill but like it's a chance of getting it whenever you're hit with a basic attack but there's no tankiness here so the health is nice but it's only five percent right and at the end of the day like there's no march speed here either except for the conditional march speed you get when you are hit it's not even when you're hitting somebody it's when you are hit so great for running away but not great for literally anything else right the active skill damage factor increased by 100 turns this from a thousand to 1100 that is 2200 over two seconds again it's just it's a damage over time which it's not the worst one in the world right because you know it, it's only two hits or as opposed to like a sargon's five hits right or or um freddy's three hits so it's not the worst damage over time in the game but a hundred damage factor here is not going to move the needle and the damage here i don't think was necessarily the biggest problem with Ramses I think the problem was lack of March speed lack of tankiness and there's no AoE here there's just so many better you know commanders to use than Ramses and also he has the attack tree so he's basically like doomed to be a secondary commander so all in all two new relics added to the game I don't think either of them really move the needle for their commanders I don't think this is really going to do much so that brings us to the question of okay well if these relics aren't worth getting for pretty much anybody right like the only uh, of these two I think maybe you would grab the Artemisia 
ninja one if you're an archer garrison maybe and that's a big maybe you probably won't that's the only person that should even consider getting this in my opinion but with that being said let's go over which of these relics that i personally think you should get if you are a free to play player right because that's going to be most of you guys most of you are free to play players and so you know over the years since the relic system came into the game and they introduced the museum there has been a big change in the number of things to get here not just in number of commanders but also the levels of of, of relic right the, originally there were no levels there were just relics and then they added tier two and tier three relics right and so that made it so it's very expensive to really go all in on these relics and we don't know where this is going to end right is three relic upgrades the max are they going to go to four eventually where does it end is it five I, I don't know if they were gonna stop i would say it would be probably either at three or five i can't imagine we're gonna go to like nine relic upgrades right so um maybe the end is three or maybe the end is five i don't know but with that being said you know currency has always been an issue here right at the beginning of this system coming into the game they kind of flooded the market with currency and i still have a ton of this currency from that time period even with me grabbing a bunch of things that i don't need and upgrading a bunch of things that i won't use specifically like caesar for example for, for example or like el cid for example like these are commanders that i'm never going to use even a little bit right on Honestly, like Martel and um, what's his name, Mehmed kind of fall into that bucket as well. Not that they're bad commanders or bad relics, but I just have so much better things to work on that I'll never probably use that ever again. With currency being a concern, it is important to invest in the right things here. Although I will say that they have been adding this currency to more things in the game, more events. They've also updated the or, or increased the amount that you get from your daily quests. I think they added some at the 20 point claim here you actually get more relic coins from 20 activity points than you do for 100 activity points so I don't know what's going on there they probably should update that but anyway you get a ton of relic coins from oh well, not a ton do you get some relic coins every single day from doing your dailies and then you also get the museum coins these guys sorry those are relic coins these are exhibit coins my bad you get these from a variety of ways for me the eve of the crusade i think stage two stage one or two is the troop training before you go into kvk right you know you train enough troops to get all of that which could easily be done by starting up some reserve trainings like 20k level five reserves if you do this for all four troop types of tier five and you do that two weeks in advance before kvk or however long it is a week or whatever then you'll get pretty i think you get all of it all the rewards there which is really nice so with that being said you get 420 of these exhibit coins i don't know if they picked that number because it's a meme or if they thought that was balanced i don't know but either way i'm here for it so you get 420 of these coins every kvk and you get them from a variety of other events i believe as well like for example right now i am able to get them from the oasis of hope you get five per arabian scimitar or whatever the specific you know event item is you can get a maximum of 50 from this if you go all in on it i just don't think that that's really better than something like the you know sovereign keys or if you haven't maxed the gatherers this is very important right so there's there's probably better things here than getting this but it is is worth noting that you can get it all of that being said they have given us more currency even though it is still kind of a bottleneck here you still want to be very careful with your museum coins even though this won't be as much of a bottleneck as it has been they are still very rare and valuable so as a free-to-play player there's really only three maybe four of these museum relics that you should consider getting and of those four only two are really worth getting and of the two it's only worth getting if you have those commanders this is something where i don't you, you don't obviously want to get museum relics for commanders that you don't have yet right so it's not like one of those things where it's like okay i'm going to unlock it and start working on it while i wait to level up my commander right like no if you don't have the commander expertise don't even think about getting the museum relic that is very obvious right but i just want to make that very clear don't do this incrementally do it the commander first then the museum museum relic only then afterwards anyway with that being said the four commanders that i think are worth you know looking into and really the, the first two are isong ye of course isong ye does typically find himself in the best two or best second archer lineup in the open field right the first best is obviously Zhuge Liang with herman second best would be something like ashurbanipal or shajar with YSG and if you are running two archer marches and you're going to be using YSG then get YSG's relic of course if you have them already you know this is one of those things where it's like a lot of people skipped him in the early game if you didn't then great get this this is 12 percent more skill damage which is amazing and 20 percent extra defense like this is objectively just like this is a better commander than you know these other commanders like Ramses and Artemisia 
and yet his relic is also better a little bit weird there not sure why they did that but uh YSG is probably the single best relic upgrade in the game right now in my opinion he is the most meta viable out of any commander in the museum I guess the only other exception is Alexander the Great and that is the second relic that I think even if you're a free to play player this is worth getting in my opinion this is again only worth getting if you have Alexander the Great if you haven't maxed him or if you're not using him obviously do not get this but if you're running him with Liu Che like behind Liu Che then this is amazing I mean this is six percent more normal damage which is good for your white numbers but it's also good for Liu Che's active skill and his other smite damage right which is great plus 20 percent defense is amazing just overall for infantry so this is a great relic this is very good for Alex who was already a solid commander and now he is a good commander the, you know Alex and YSG are the two best choices in my opinion for you know free-to-play players if you are going to dump all your stuff into any commander it should be YSG or Alex if you have them of course beyond that I think Ethelflaed maybe is someone you could consider you know you get the first one for free right which is nice you know do you need the second one probably not right the March speed is is nice and really like you, you would only do this if you're like really chaining and really grinding barbs then like maybe you could make the argument that the more more attack and more March speed makes that grind a little bit better you deal a little bit more damage and therefore you take fewer sevs and it could pay itself off over time but really like I don't know probably not super worth it but it's something you might consider and then the final one that you would consider would be Mehmed but even then once you have you know your meta army set up you are probably never going to use Mehmed ever again except maybe in Canyon behind somebody like Huo that's really the only time that you might use Mehmed after you've gotten all of your late game season of conquest commanders the only exception to this would be like if they gave him a third tier upgrade and it gave him like 40 percent health and 20 percent skill damage that might be insane and in that case maybe you know he becomes more meta than somebody like YSG even but probably not right because YSG has just so much skill damage he has 62 percent total on his kit which is wild but you know if you are subbing Mehmed in for somebody maybe you would consider this but even still again like most players shouldn't shouldn't they just shouldn't do this shouldn't do this Mehmed is a short-term investment or, or short term you're going to use them in the short term maybe but you won't use them in the long term and so like this is a very short term relic if you do grab it I personally don't use this at all ever at this point point. and that's pretty much it for for free to play players right like for free to play YSG and Alex are really the only two that are really worth considering the other two I mentioned are like maybe right maybe you I could see the argument being made there because really like there is no nothing else right for free to play players like there's nothing else so, so I mean I guess you could just say that you should be saving them after that which is true uh you could do that as well but that's that with that being said let's move on to low spenders and low spenders you know you can kind of consider this list cumulative if relic upgrades are good for free to play players then you can also assume that they're good for low spenders and they are good for high spenders consider this list additive it's it's everything we've already talked about plus if you're a low spender I would say the Minamoto upgrade is is decent right this is 60 percent of stats which is like insane and also you know it's just like if you have him at, even at 5511 or if you expertise him or whatever you're gonna be using Minamoto to rally forts pretty much forever and so you might as well get him and even if if not you're gonna use him for barbs and so it's like you know you, you might as well get it right same thing with Cao Cao if you have an expertise Cao Cao or you know a decent Cao Cao over time you got him from gold keys whatever you know I would get this especially again you're gonna be rallying forts you might as well get this the extra health and damage factor is really gonna help you take fewer sev wounds from the forts and again that's gonna add up over time you're gonna you know kill the forts faster with the more da damage factor so like all in all I think if you're a low spender then the Minamoto Cao Cao upgrades I think are probably worth it but only if you have like I said excess currency that you really don't know what to do with at the end of the day like it's probably better to just bank the currency and save it but I can see an argument to be made for upgrading Minamoto and Cao Cao because you're going to be using them finally low spenders I would say Guan Yu great relic honestly I really like this relic a lot it, my Guan Yu still does work with my CPU in the open field you might have seen some of the banners popping up over here our first zone fighting has begun yesterday and there is a little bit of fighting still going on right at the time of recording this which I should get back to of course even still in in this first zone fights my Guan Yu CPO just pops off he pops off it just, it's good right is it the the best marked in the game no but it's very good and I think that this relic definitely helps Guan Yu a lot and so if you are an older player who has Guan Yu whether it's 5155 or you expertise him or whatever it is I think the Guan Yu relic is worth grabbing if you're using him now this is also with the caveat that 
Ragnar Prime is coming out within the next couple of days at the time of recording this I don't know he might even be in the game at the time of me posting this and with that being said you know don't grab this relic and then have Ragnar come out and bench Guan Yu forever if you are going to get Ragnar Prime and you are planning on benching Guan Yu then obviously don't get the Guan Yu relic that would make no sense but if you don't have the sculptures to get Ragnar for a very long time or you don't think that he is a meaningful upgrade over your Guan then this is worth getting for sure and that's pretty much going to do it for the low spenders right let's talk about the whales let's talk about the Kraken the players that have a ton of this currency they're they're buying the bundles of this currency players that don't know what to do with this stuff there are a few relics that you exclusively should be getting of course Attila and Takeda are the two that come to mind immediately because first of all if you are a Cav rally leader then you might still occasionally use Attila for some things a little bit of anti-swarm with Nevsky behind him or whatever the case might be I feel like I see Attila Nevsky sometimes still but it's less and less and I would say the next Cav cycle might be so good that we don't do this anymore but I would still say Attila and Takeda are worth getting as a whale because and of course only if you have these commanders but you are going to be using Attila Takeda occasionally to rally player cities right and so like you might as well have all the stats that you can when you do that because it hurts a lot to rally a big player so that's a really good pickup for whales next is Mulan Mulan is great if you use her in Canyon lots of people do I would say she's part of the Canyon meta I don't know how that's going to change over the next few months but she has been in the Canyon meta for a while now and the extra health and skill damage taken reduction is very tanky which is great behind a Trajan or even if you did like Constantine Mulan for example that would be a very solid pair to do in Canyon and so if you're a whale and you've got a ton of this currency the Mulan is a great pickup for sure and in the same vein as that is the Constantine again for whales this is great it's great in Canyon but also if you are an infantry garrison player and you do you know occasionally do the um, Gorgo Constantine garrison then this is going to be great for you you obviously want this right you can't run the Constantine garrison without this in my opinion because it's just so many stats right like you, you need to be the best of the best of the best and you're going to need this and really the whales are the ones garrisoning so this is something to consider for whales as well finally we have Tamiris who's kind of an honorable mention I think if you are a archer main and you do the seven army lineup and you're a whale and you and you and you run the Herman with Tamiris then obviously this is worth getting right I think with the introduction of Shajar this is pretty much useless though so that's why it's an honorable mention I don't think anyone should really be running Tamiris if you are a whale archer main because you might as well just run Shajar I think it's better the March speed is is nice the health is nice um it is what it is she probably will get extra relic upgrades in the future and if you know her next upgrade brings her to 30 percent health and like 15 or 20 percent March speed then you might be able to you know reevaluate whether she is better than Shajar or not because that is honestly that'll if she got 30 percent health that that would put her almost on par with the amount of health that Shajar gets that would be a solid investment but for right now it's just an honorable mention most players shouldn't get it and the final honorable mention is going to be Richard I guess if you're a whale and you just really don't know what to do with your currency and you do like to chain barbarians then maybe get the Richard one I think that you know the extra March speed helps you a lot when chaining barbarians because you can keep up with your other marches but really again this is an honorable mention for the whales that don't know what to do with this currency beyond that and beyond everything that I said you know maybe maybe some infantry garrison mains might flex the Martel just for the counterattack damage maybe if that's the case you grab that but besides that like the rest of these aren't really worth it I think you can make the case for Caesar's March speed strictly for getting in and out of joining garrisons joining rallies I think Caesar has a great role to play there because it you know he has more troops he brings more troops to the battlefield which is very nice so him filling things is great so, so to have the extra March speed on top of all that is kind of amazing I mean like you're spending all that currency for March speed right like what's the deal with that why why would you do that right I did it because I had a bunch of this stuff left over this I think I upgraded this before they even put Guan Yu's relic in the game so like I didn't think that we'd be getting those seasons of commanders I don't think this is really really worth it but you know if you do want to use it to quickly enter rallies and garrisons that might be the play and other than that everything else here is pretty much garbage there's, there's really nothing right so the whales have a lot more things that they can do here they have a lot more things they can play with but honestly most of it is useless really the only thing that you're going to constantly use is going to be YSG and Alex if you're running them in the field which I think are very good Guan Yu if you're running him in the field for the next couple of days until Ragnar Prime comes out and then if you're running Barb Forts you're going to do Minamoto with Cao Cao and that's pretty much it I guess if you're a free-to-play player who's been playing for five six years and you have Cao Cao expertise somehow and you're using him for rallying forts still 
then maybe you would consider grabbing this but again that's pretty much it I just want to give you guys my sort of thoughts and opinions on the museum I know we haven't like really talked about the museum in a while we haven't talked about a sort of guide for the museum for the museum in a while so I did just want to touch on that to give you guys my thoughts on this I think YSG is the most meta viable as well as Alex those upgrades are obviously like invaluable like you definitely want them especially because Alex doesn't even have his third upgrade yet right so yeah I suspect that'll come around at some point hopefully soon because I want to use it but regardless that's pretty much it guys I wanted to give you guys my thoughts and opinions on all these new relics that came into the game and give you guys my thoughts and opinions on which ones are even worth getting but really you should be saving your currency as much as possible because later down the line you know we could we're probably I, we've got to be very close to a William relic right like that's got to be right around the corner I can't imagine that they're going to give him anything insane because I bet you they want people to stop using William right I think he's lit lasted so long I think people you know they're going to give him like maybe five percent defense and like I don't know five percent skill damage taken reduction or something like that it's going to be something tiny right so I mean it'll be nice but I'm I, I don't know I don't think it's going to really move the needle but you know it could be good and and if it is good then you're going to want to save your currency for it so just keep that in mind but with that being said let me know what you think about these relics and my choices in the comment section below and also let me know what you think about these new you know these new commander designs what do you think about them do you like them do you like some of them do you hate them let me know what you think in the comment section below with that being said guys if you made it all the way to the end of the video drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it i gotta move her off the screen because she's just not pleasant to look at and while you're down there uh, consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the bell to be notified the next time i upload a rise of kingdoms video like i said earlier we're so close to 80,000 subscribers which is insane so thank you guys so much for that and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace